Well guys, it's the next day, uh, well the next day after I made that video about unboxing the Garmin and uh, we got our yak in and it is awesome, it's beautiful, the Ascend 12T is here. I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick overview of what it looks like and uh, what, what all features it has and uh, then we're going to start installing the fish finder on it in this video as well. So let's get it rocking guys, I'm excited and uh, let's get to it. Alright guys, excuse the messy shop, it's atrocious. You know, so anyways, we got back handle here, plug, back storage half. We got some place to put a cooler if we wanted to. I think I have a cooler that'll fit in there. But we got our seat. Uh, nothing special. The seat lays way too far back. So I'll probably end up having to weld that at a different angle because that thing just, golly, I don't like how far back that goes because it looks like you're basically laying down. I'd rather have it about right here and I'll probably just tack it. Welder down, um, cup holder. Uh, we got our scuffer plugs in here and our dry storage sock deal. So that's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, good stuff. So it's our dry sock in there. I could probably fit my camera in there and maybe my phone and wallet. I'll try that. I don't know if it'll work, but we're gonna try it. And then, uh, Then we got this big boy, the big storage place, to get right into the hole if we want. Boom, oh wow, we, holy smokes, okay, they hooked me up, did not even, I don't think he checked this. So what we got in here is, we got a cast net, did not even know about that. Got a life jacket, that's cool. <laughs> Let's see, what's in here, what are these? I don't even know what the heck these are. Maybe paddle extension? I don't know what the heck these are. Um, what is this? Oh, a little mini paddle. <laughs> what else in there? That's nuts. Oh, that's cool as hell. All right, well, I got a whole bunch of free stuff I didn't even know I got. And then we got our front storage place. So, where I want to place this thing is, uh, we got to look and make sure that the Garmin will slide in here and we can tighten it down on here. If not, I'm going to have to go buy the Scotty mount. And I'll Scotty mount it right here. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna place it either here or here. We're gonna have to drill a hole into the bottom to run it to our battery here. And then we're gonna run our transducer and transducer wire all the way back here. And then I'm gonna have a little yak attack mount right here. It's gonna run our transducer right into the water there. So that's the game plan. Let's go ahead and keep looking and see what we else we got. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Let's get to do it. All right, guys. So. This is what we got here. So this is the mount right here that goes screws into your boat. So we use this, and uh, so there's three holes here, minus the middle one. So three holes. We put you place it wherever you want. You screw it in there. It's three Phillips head screwdrivers, and you go ahead sink those in there. And I will see you after we do that. I think I'm going to place it right around in here somewhere. I want to try to get a little further back from that foot peg, around in here somewhere. So um, let's get that done. All right guys, so I put it over here on the left-hand side of the bow. You guys can see we'll be looking this way. Fish fund will be over here. We're gonna see how we like that. Next up, we gotta drill a hole for our transducer wire and our power cable. So, let's get it going. All right guys, so for this one, we're just gonna sink it right here behind here. I've got, this is a big hole, so make sure you guys know what you're doing here, but this is a three quarters of an inch uh, hole bit. So we're gonna go ahead and drill this out and uh, run our wires through and see what comes out. All right guys, so we got our big old hole here. Good thing we have some black RTV water resistant stuff to fill that full of, just so no extra water gets in the deck. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and run our power wire and transducer wire through there and get them set up from the back. Alright guys, so to wire this up, this uh, brown and blue one here, this is for like sending uh, other units like the G3N, Garmin G3N or whatever, I don't even know, but uh, that's for networking other, uh, other units to this one unit, to your main unit. The only ones we're going to need for now is this hot and positive, so, or hot and negative, so let's go ahead and run all three of these through here and get them run through and Stick our hand in here and find out where the heck they are at. So hopefully we can move these foam pieces. 
There we go. Boom. So we got our got our power cable right here. Go ahead and leave it up here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we have our there's a little nut in here as well that runs into there's a little black one somewhere. I don't remember where I put it somewhere up there. All right, guys. So this is what this is gonna look like from the back side here. It's already set up and ready to rock. We just have to if we wanted to, we could even turn it on right now. But here it is. It's a little cockeyed. Again, I want to go to a Scotty mount, but this will work for now because I'm broke. So look at that. That'll look good. I'm going to even turn it a little bit so you can read it a little better and tilt her up a little hair. <sighs> Boom, look at that. That'll look real good right there. You'll be able to see everything we want. All right, guys. So I have a Yak Attack mount coming in the mail. So I'm going to... Uh, it's going to have a rail here supposed to unless I can modify it and I don't want a rail but if I need to I'll put one on but put a rail here I'm just gonna drill a hole right in here and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna swap down to the even the half an inch instead of the three-quarter because this one only has one wire going through it instead of two so I think I'm gonna swap over to the half an inch I think I'm gonna pop a hole right here and then I'm gonna run my transducer wire all the way up to the front up there so let's go ahead get that popped and let's see if we can run our transducer wire Hi right, guys, let's set you right here while I pop this hole. Okay. Ugh. I want that thing to come in right about here. Actually, I could probably even pop it right here. Let's just pop it right here. It's probably easier to get through and run stuff with. So. Nice and slow she goes. So, run it right there. Let's go ahead and run our cable through there. We have our cable right here. Look at the size of this freaking transducer that come with the Garmin. Freaking huge. Look at that thing. That thing is monstrous. Monstrous. It's a monstrosity. It's gnarly. It's huge. Ugh. Anyways, let's go ahead and run our wire up to the front. Already popped the styrofoam out of that side. Whew, let's get a run. Here she goes. All right, guys, so that transducer cable was a pain in the ass to run. I ended up custom making something to get it from the back of the yank to the front. And you guys will be severely impressed with how I did it. So let's go ahead and look at it. It's kind of getting dark, guys, so excuse the lighting. But look at this. I've got a half ounce weight tied with some fishing line because you couldn't reach all the way back here with your arm. You know, that's a long freaking ways. So drilled in the hole, <laughs> ran my fishing line all the way back here you know i started back here with that weight lean the kayak forward to slid all the way up there so now it should just be easy peasy lemon freaking squeezy and you know run your run your cable you know it's, just, it's real simple it just cracks me up the way i did it so let's go ahead throw that in there get past the sticker <laughs> now let's run it <laughs> Look at that, guys. And that is how it's done, son. Whew. All right, guys. So as you guys see, I got the battery wired up. And it wasn't hard, guys. All I did was get some of these female ends here for this male end. This is just a regular, like, what? I think I got this for a deer feeder. Yeah, wild game. I think it's like 20 bucks at Walmart. Seven and a half amp hour. You, just, you know, two butt ends, female ends on there slide them over your battery terminals i know i know you guys are gonna freaking blow me up you guys you need to have a water box or a watertight box to put your battery in i will it's coming i just don't have one now don't have the money for it so i'm just gonna kind of chill with that for now and uh i'm gonna seal up this front hole i'm gonna leave that back one unsealed until i know how much more of uh sealant or how much stuff i need for that transducer arm to work back and forth back there but yep, so you just have two wires on the back here. You plug in after you run them up. It's pretty self-explanatory, guys. Like, look, I can just freaking take this. Pretty much take that, that, close it on up. And after I get the transducer in, oh, look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, it is. We are ready to go fishing. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and rotate this a little bit. Gonna hit okay here, okay, boom. Now look at this, guys. Let's go ahead down there, boom. 
Look guys, we are reading now. That's a, it's the simulator, but you guys get the point. Look at this. Ugh. So much bigger than the other yak. It's so nice. Oh. So, hopefully, hopefully you guys can see me still. But uh, thank you guys for watching this um, install on this uh, Garmin uh, 7 inch CV uh, on this uh, kayak here. The old um, 12T Ascend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a positive comment in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys here in a couple days on the water on this thing. And we're going to catch some big bass. I'll see you guys then.